Om Aku Maka Om Jesus Om Kwem Anywhere So say That is One way Distinguished ladies and gentlemen Ndiya Nambra We've got out yet again To celebrate Nigeria's 6th to 4th Independence Anniversary This time, 64 years ago, the Union Jack came down and the green white green flag was afloat. Today, my own message to Nigeria and to India Nambra is that despite our challenges, our tomorrow will be greater than our today. I see hope. I see prosperity. I see joy. Wherever we fail, our prayer is that these children will take off from where our feelings and make Nigeria arrive and make Nigeria great. Yes, we have slipped. Yes, we have talented. And even on this occasion, we we'll remember the victims of all the huge floods that just ravaged several states. We are still waiting patiently and praying that it doesn't come with the same kind of ravage on our number of states. But we remember all the victims at this hour. Our prayer is that Nigeria will not only be the largest nation, the largest black nation on earth, but will soon also become one of the biggest economies in the world. This is a land blessed with abundant human and material resources. Our prayer is that these children we take off from where our feelings and make Nigeria arise and make Nigeria great. We must work very hard to make sure we give these children the enablement, the empowerment, and all the enablement that they require to be able to have a secure future. Because it's only when they have a secure future that they can secure Nigeria. And here in Anambra State, we kept one of the annual promises that we made to the Anambra local government election was conducted in Anambra some 10 years ago. We made a promise which I have found during my swearing in that where once we finished putting in the various foundations, the institutional and legal foundations that were going to organize local government election, that promise was kept last Saturday with the conduct of what many have a job to be one of the most credible, free, fair, transparent local government elections in Nigeria. And not surprisingly, I want to use this opportunity to thank and appreciate the Anambra State Independent Electoral Commission. They did a heroic job. On Saturday, the Anambra rose up again to cement what everybody knows in this state that here in Anambra, Africa is Anambra, Anambra is Africa. And that was actually demonstrated again last Saturday. And we want to appreciate and use this moment to appreciate the Anambra for the confidence that you continue to repose on us as progressives to keep on leading our state going forward. Our goal was to win in 326 over 326, and that's what the Ndiya Nambra delivered to us on Saturday. And I want to thank all of you for the 21 local government, 21 over 21, and 326 over 326. I want to appreciate everyone that played roles as security agencies and um, all those who work very hard. And I want also to appreciate the other eight political parties that participated in this contest. Politicians can play their politics. We are in the governance mode. And for the elected people at the local governments, let's get to go and deliver dividends of democracy to the people at the grassroots. Beyond all of this, we made two announcements on Thursday last week. From the end of this month, we will be able to pay the least paid worker 
will be able to receive the minimum wage of 70,000 and so on. The second announcement we made, we decided. It's not because we've got the resources. We also announced that beginning this academic session, in all public schools, in all public schools in Anambra, from nursery through primary, through JSS, up to SS3, all through secondary education, will now be totally, totally free in Anambra State. Government will provide us, and we have also announced that for parents who have already paid, for those in senior secondary school, those who have already paid school fees, we gave them last week, and this coming week, you go back and collect your money back. And we can attend those and even more if we all work together. I want to believe by the rest of the Nigeria. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.